Hi, this is Tim. I'm just going to take you through the steps of creating a mapping in the custom tools revision table and your sheet format. So the first we want to do is go into the SolidWorks options and make sure that everything is set up as we want to have it in our company. And that is under the system options under the file locations. The first place you want to have a look is under the document templates. Here you want to have all employees point to the same shared location, in my case, e SolidWorks shared, and then documents. You also want to have the general table pointing to that location. You also want to have revision table pointing to that location. And you also want to have your sheet format pointing to that location. So at least these four, maybe only three if you do not use general table, but I would recommend these for at least. They should be pointing to the same location for all users of the company. The next we want to do is we want to create a blank document, a drawing, and then make sure that this is set up correct. So here I'm just opening up a blank document and I want to make sure to display the sheet format. And this is for some reason not always working on my system. And Apparently that seems to be true in this case as well. Yeah, I don't see it, so I will need to do this manually. So make sure that you have display sheet format on, obviously. Now, the first we want to do, and this is for all our sheet format we are using, we want to right click edit sheet format, select the point where we want the anchor of the table to be inserted. So in this case, my top right point, set as anchor, revision table. And then you can exit the sheet format, go to file, save sheet format, overriding what you have already, and OK for that. So the next one is simply to do the next size drawing you have, in my case, A3. Apply changes, and that is going to load this sheet format and scale the drawing accordingly. Same approach as before. Right click, edit sheet format, right click the anchor point, set as anchor, revision table. Exit sheet format, file, Save sheet format. Keep the file name to overwrite what you already have and say yes to replace. This procedure goes for all of the sheet formats that you want to insert the revision table onto. At this point, I will close my drawing because this was just a part of my setup of my templates. So now I can open up a part file. And this one I already prepared beforehand, so in my properties, this part file should have revision data already applied. So we are currently at revision B, and we can see the revisions in the revision table in here. So now I can insert this part file into my drawing and then add the revision data. This is the next step. I will create a drawing from this part file using my drawing template. And it doesn't really matter which one you're using as long as you are using the sheet format where we have the anchor point. So in this case, I'm going for the, yeah, let's go for the A4. And OK for that. And again, for some reason, I'm not bringing in my uh, annotation. So you might need to skip this step, but make sure that display sheet format is set to on. And then we can insert, for instance, a standard three model view. And then we can go to custom tools, data, revision, go next, decide how the revision table should be formatted and hit OK. This is going to place the revision table at the anchor point, but it's going to use the bottom right 
of the table and we want to use the top right. So I'm just going to switch that over and make sure that it's attached correctly and hit OK. I can then resize the table accordingly and I could, for instance, highlight a line, unlink to the document settings and change the font to something else, uh, 3D light, make it bold, increase the font size, maybe slightly more, like that. So now I have a template where I made some changes into uh, everything. And now I can just right click this table and save as. This is going to go to my shared folder for tables and I can use this one and just override it. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, go ahead. And now I have created a template for my table that I want to use going forward. So at this point, I can actually close my drawing. The third step is to go into the Custom Tools options, go into Revision Properties, and then remove or change or add whatever you need in this Revision Table Template mapping. I don't have any, so I will add a new one. My Drawing Sheet format is going to be my A4, and OK for that. And my revision table is going to be ref demo, and OK for that. And OK to save this template as a link. I can then obviously add one more. This time the A3, I think I used. Yeah, same date. And for mapping, I want to use the same revision template. And OK. If you see any error when you press OK, make sure that you go through the SolidWorks system options and make sure that your file locations are pointing to the same shared location for document templates, general tables, revision tables, and for sheet formats. So now we have made the mapping and we should pretty much be set at this point. So now if I create a drawing of this one, using my drawing template, selecting my A3 in this case. Yeah, I need to, I need to fix this one. Apply changes. And then I want to go and insert standard three view. Go to Custom Tools, Data, Revision, go Next, and hit OK. So now my revision table was inserted at the anchor point as defined. If I would change the sheet format to A4, the template will obviously fit because I asked it to fit within the borders of uh, my A4. But the table is using the format text as, I, as described in the revision template and everything seems to be working as expected. Thank you for watching.